So before we get into this video, because I'm going to show Skit in this video, we got some more stuff from Tino Evil, dude. Hey. Ah, and I'm going to open it because I'm dumb excited, dude. So our homies, our homies Francis and Franco from Tino Evil sent us some more stuff from Tino Evil, some more hey. apparel. All right. And this time, the people at the post office didn't just decide to confiscate our packages because they may or may not have drugs or weapons in the package, people. We cannot receive weapons in the mail. Why do you keep sending me knives that are unsheathed? That's the part I don't get. They wouldn't know it if you had it sheathed. Put it away. So these guys are awesome. They run this t-shirt shop from their cribbo. All right, they're both independent artists. And even that guy, that guy Daryl, the Norman wealthy. Reedus. How do you know that? <laughs> even he wears stuff from Tino Evil, and they do. These guys do pop culture tees, which are really cool because they do stuff from anime and things that I watch, and they know us. So this time they gave us a sticker from Tino Evil, the Tino Evil logo, which is actually mad cool. And I think I'm gonna get a shirt with just their logo on it because I actually really like their logo. This is fucking. Wait, what is it? This is from The Walking Dead. Oh, I like that, though. Service with a smile. Oh, I think this one is yours. Why is that? Because it says, hi, Chavez. <laughs> yeah, that might Thanks be Thanks for mine. your continued support. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait, no, but the shirt is mine. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, they gave us 10% uh, off. Hey. And it didn't expire yet. So yeah, I'm gonna follow them on Twitter so I can uh, message them and stuff. Let's see what kind of stuff they have. Oh, they gave you the shirt on this on the thing. Please tell me this has their logo on it. Yo! Oh, I'm so jealous! Oh, okay, look. Oh, I'm so jealous! Oh, oh. This is actually so cool. When I wore that Fight Club One Punch Man yes. thing around my family, they everybody was asking me where I got it from. And anytime I wear their shirt out, people ask me where I get the shirt from. And so it's definitely one of those things where this is a product I love to support me. I'm gonna put this on right yeah, now. Same with the shirt that I got. And it fits. This is, I hate that they are the comfiest shirts that I own. <laughs> it's, it's irritating because I own a lot I of shirts. I change my shirt. So then change your shirt. Yo, okay, stand up, stand up, stand up. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at that. That looks so good though, actually. Man, that's some real shit right there. You know what? My homie, um, my homie Screw just had a birthday. And you know what, Screw? I'm gonna get you a shirt from Tino Evil. Yes! That's actually a really good gift, dude. I'm gonna buy you some swag from there. So like, hit me up, because I know you're gonna see this. Hit me up and let me know what style you want. I'll, I'll hook you up with a shirt from Tino Evil, I am man. so excited about this shirt though. Yeah, man, so good shit. So, with that being said, let's get into this. And of course, you know, I'm gonna wear this in a ton of videos now. I'll let everybody know. I'm gonna keep the link in for a couple of my vids uh, so everybody can know where they're from. And I will also be wearing it on my channel. Yes, Skittin', Skittin Says. says. Huh? In case you didn't know, your girl got her own YouTube channel. Yeah, shouts out to Tino Evil, man. You guys are great. With that all being said, it's a long intro, but whatever, I'm excited. I like this, dude. When we get good sponsorships, and we've done some sponsorships, especially like on the Discord, I've had some people just say, yo, just put a post up this for you people to see on the Discord. You know what I mean? And I, I get really excited for those. But this is the one thing I do on my channel that I really, really appreciate doing. So this is really nice. So let's get into this. This is Why It Sucked to Be a Pirate by Sam O'Nella Academy. Probably scurvy. Scurvy is definitely So here amazing. we, is Sam O'Nella or Nilla? No one? Uh, Sam and, it looks like Onella. So. I think it's Onella, right? Yeah. yeah. Sam Onella Academy, dude. Great, great yeah. video. Like Skins, Salmonella. Skin's never seen it, and I'm going to enjoy her watching it. So let's do it. <laughs> Hey, little Jimmy. Yeah, what's up? Do you like Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah, it's alright. So do you think it'd be fun to be a do pirate? You? Yeah. Well, guess what? You couldn't be more wrong. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I know. At some point, every kid has dreamed about being a swashbuckle and corn shuckle and wife cuckle and cocksuckle and pirate, but trust me- Do we need to go over that again, or do you wife think we got it? suckling, cock buckling. Wife cuckling, cock suckling. Corn suckling, <laughs> wife cuckling. <laughs> Cock shuckling. So do you think it'd be fun to be a pirate? Yeah. Well, guess Whatever. what? You couldn't be more wrong. 
Oh, fuck. Yeah, I know. At some point, every kid is dreaming about the being a swamp. Swashbuckling, corn shuckling. Hushbuckling, corn shuckling, wife cuckling, cocksuckling, pirate. <laughs> but trust me when I say, it was really not all it's cracked up to be. First, we'll talk about the food. So one staple of the pirate diet was salted meat, usually wild oxen or pork. Yeah. And I love jerky as much as the next guy, but this wasn't like a bag of Jack Lynx. In fact, it was probably closer in texture to your shoes than any meat you've ever eaten. In those days, you couldn't just snap into a Slim Jim. That's a modern luxury that we take for sure granted. Do. Back then, the slogan was, gnaw on a Slim Jim for minutes on end, <laughs> grinding it between your molars while the gallons of salt turn your mouth into a desert until the mangled hunk of flesh in your mouth is just soft enough to be shoved down your greasy fucking pirate throat without tearing a hole. Another essential food item was known as hardtack. This was yeah. essentially just yeah. flour and water baked yeah. into a cracker-like brick. Beyond the fact that it was totally flavorless, hardtack was also extremely dense, to the point where pirates would often have to slam their fists down on it in order to break it into pieces small enough to fit in their mouth. As long as it was kept dry, hardtack almost never spoiled, yeah. although it often became infested with yeah. weevils. Um, excuse me, sir, I'm a vegan, so like, can I have a new piece? One without any of Mother Nature's beautiful creatures in it? Thanks. Wait a minute, is this gluten free? This better be hemp rope. <laughs> nah, but the weevils didn't make you sick or change the taste all that much, so, and this is true, the crew would just eat it in the dark, so that way they couldn't tell yep. if they were eating a normal chunk or a weevily yep. one. They ate bugs! Cool. Got it. Alright. I'll, I'll turn it down so it's not so... Alright. <laughs> And there's the crowding. So pirate ships typically packed in as many crew members as possible, because more pirates means more manpower when you go to board an enemy ship. Of course, the downside to that is that you're basically like a bunch of hairy, unwashed sardines. <sighs> Let me illustrate what a typical night below deck was like. So you're sprawled out on the damp, musty wood floor. Everything's pitch black, you can't see a thing. The smell of the filth and the mold forces you to only breathe through your mouth. Suddenly, your left hand feels wet, probably just seawater leaking through the hull. You sniff your hand, no, no, that's piss. <laughs> you feel something furry rub up against your elbow. It was either the body of a diseased rat or the beard of your diseased crewmate. Either way, that's probably where the piss came from. Some guy's moaning loudly in the next room. Hopefully he's just jerking off, because if he's dying, that's one more body to deal with in the morning. <laughs> Rinse and repeat for eight hours, and then it's daytime. The poor diet and cramped conditions led to disease being a huge problem yeah. aboard pirate ships. The most well-known of these diseases is scurvy, scurvy, where you don't get enough vitamin C. When scurvy so first begins, orange. you just kind of feel Poor tired man. all the time, no big deal. Then you get weird spots on your skin and your gums start bleeding. This progresses until all your teeth fall out and all of your body's <laughs> mucous membranes start gushing blood and pus, causing you to yeah. die. So that's a lot of fun. There were tons of other diseases too, I won't go through Wait, them all. But oh, but we will. Typhus. Malaria. Yellow fever. Syphilis. <laughs> Tuberculosis. Dick rot. Sniffles. Jungle dick rot. Dick sniffles. Jungle dick sniffles. Rotten dick jungles. <laughs> I think some of those might be a little bit exaggerated. Maybe. But dick rot is the thing, man. It's when your dick doesn't ever dry off and it just starts dying. That's, that's so good. <laughs> your dick dies slowly. Ah! But here's a few honorable mentions. Also, some people say that alcoholism is a disease. I might just be disturbed, but that's one sickness I could definitely get down with. If it is a disease, then yeah, just about every pirate had this one. If anything, though, I'd call that one of the few upsides of pirate life. Finally, there's the combat. Hell so you've yeah. gone through all these disgusting, horrible living conditions, but at least you can enjoy the thrill of yes. battle, right? Swinging from rope to rope, sword in your mouth, long, intense saber duels, that kind of thing. But that's typically not how it went down. For one thing, when pirates boarded a ship, nine times out of ten, they just surrender immediately. Basically. Because what are a bunch of well-groomed merchants going to do against a horde of disgusting barbarians? If the defending <laughs> ship did decide to fight back, though, the resulting brawl wouldn't be anything like the movies. It'd be way worse, like immediate R rating. Because pirates rely a lot on brutality, both because they don't have much real training, and because it scares the shit out of people. If you were a deckhand on an invaded ship, and you were stupid enough to fight back, you wouldn't be dancing around, doing flips and shit, None of that. Instead, they'd probably shoot you in the stomach with a flint.
flintlock ah. pistol, kick you to the ground, chop off your shoulder blade with a hand axe, gouge out your eyes with a marlin <laughs> spike, wind your intestines around the prow, and then toss your twitching body overboard. And that's only a slight exaggeration. Honestly, if Jack Sparrow got attacked by actual pirates, he wouldn't last a second. It's kind of like a used car salesman going to prison, like, I'll be fine. If anybody tries intimidating me, I can get out of it with my quick wit and charming personality. Boy, you look real pretty from behind. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm boned. So, yeah, in short, I'm if you're boned. thinking about pulling a Captain Phillips anytime soon, I'd advise against it. That's all for today. Till next time, I'm Sam and Ella, and thank you for watching. So, real quick, I read a book about pirates, and there was this one account, and, like, the camera's gonna die, so I'm gonna try to finish this really quick. But there's this one account where the pirates hung this man upside down by his testicles. Well then, with that great imagery, Travis Slovakia, shouts out to T No Evil, uh, great family-friendly website <laughs> for all your T-shirt and pop culture, Jesus Christ, needs. <laughs> Franco and Francis, you do fantastic work. Thank you for the support of this channel. We will be by your back the entire time, man. They have a great website. Make sure you go check that shit out. And I'll see you guys in the next one, Travis Slovakia. Later, Hobiscuit. Peace.